Hi guys, I am going to hopefully get this video uploaded without having to do any editing. Uh, I'm probably too close to the camera, the lights are probably too bright, but um, I wanted to just, I've been so busy because I've been trying to post a bunch of my wigs to sale and uh, I posted some on my Facebook beauty page, which I will link uh, for you in the description box below. And I've also um, posted some on the Wig Studio One Sell It Sunday. So my wigs are going very, very, very reasonable. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that in a moment. But if you are new to my channel, please, please consider liking, thumbs up the video, a like, just hit that little like button, goes a long way to telling YouTube that my content has some relevance. And don't you feel sometimes like as a mature woman that you're invisible? I, I know I feel that way often on YouTube that I'm invisible. But uh, your like, if you thumbs up the video, if you like the video, and obviously, more importantly, if you subscribe to my channel, if you're not already subscribed, that would help me out tremendously. And I'm probably going to say that a couple of times throughout the video because I've been told that people need to have a little bit of a, a gentle reminder. So anyways, I am going to link my, my uh, Facebook beauty page below. And one thing I want you to know, because I know that one of you bought one of the wigs, um, and I, I kind of maybe forget to mention this, but depending on what you are watching this video on, whether it's your cell phone, whether it's your, your laptop, your, your, whatever you're watching it on, really all depends on the quality of your screen, how many pixels it has, etc. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but colors look different in, yes, different lightings, and but also on different screens so it's always a good idea if you're going to buy a wig whether it's from me or from anyone and if they tell you what the color is like this is shaded cappuccino shaded cappuccino raquel welch i absolutely love this shade in real life it's got a lot of blending it's got a lot of blonde it has a lot of brown in it this is probably my my preferred shade um, but it looks different in different wigs from Raquel Welch. Not all shaded cappuccinos look the same. It depends on the hair length and all of that, how much blonde. I love the way Raquel Welch does their, their caps because they do have some of the blonde, but I have one that has so much blonde in the beginning, in the front, that it looks like it's white, you know? And so the, the blending of the fibers, I guess, differs from wig to wig. Um, even in the same line. So that's always something to be aware of. So if I'm looking at a color, I Google that color and then I go on YouTube and I, I, and I look at many different wigs, even if it's not the wig I want, but it's the color I want, I want to just see what it's going to be like. So I'll do that often. Um, and that really kind of helps. And I, I definitely recommend that. And also, if you are a first time wig wearer and you just want to wear alternate hair, or you want to save the wear and tear on your hair, the first time you put it on your head, you're going to freak out because it's going to be so much more hair than you ever anticipated. You know, you, you just didn't expect that, right? You're used to not having as much hair. And you can always strategically thin a piece out, bring it to your stylist, have them thin it out, but just be prepared for that. You're gonna feel like Bozo the Clown <laughs> the first time you put something on your head that you, if you haven't had a wig on. Uh, even toppers, I feel the same way. So I'm hoping this is not too close. I've never really filmed with the camera as close as it is now. And I think the reason I did that is I wanted to show you um, for, for instance, this ring, and I wanted to show you a couple of different things that I, that I bought. One of the things that I bought, which I haven't even opened yet, is a phone clip flip mirror kit. I spent more money for this than I wanted to buy, spend, but I'm looking to, I want to really vlog a little bit more. That's, that's a lot of what I really like to do. So you're going to be using your phone when you do a lot of that when you're out and about. So I wanted to be able to do this, the, um, ha you know, selfie style with the best possible 
camera so when you use the front facing camera obviously you're not going to be able to see you right um, or whatever it's called the rear or the front I always get them confused so this contraption supposedly sits on the top of your phone selfie stick tripod with a little mirror so you can actually be using the best quality camera in your phone and you can actually see yourself while you're doing it so I think that's kind of cool um, really major cool I gosh I I want you just mention briefly and I and I'm I don't want to draw any undue attention or create it or create any difficulties but for those of you and I know some of you have actually reached out to me about this and I appreciate that very much um, Natalie the beauty diva is no longer on YouTube and not because she wanted to leave YouTube it was because she was closed down for the most ridiculous thing ever without a warning and that's really all I'm gonna say um, I will tell you that Natalie is devastated about this happening absolutely devastating devastated and some of you know that she's been going through health issues and so those of you that have reached out were worried that maybe there was a major thing happening and that's why her channel is gone no her channel would still be up and she would still be here with us and uh, because YouTube was her was a big part of her life it was like uh, in a way she had described it sort of as a legacy for her you know grandchildren in the future to come and say hey look at this grandma type of thing you know how hot she was or how hot she thought she was I think she said something like that and um, for all of that to just be gone suddenly without any warning is just un unbelievable and we all are just like heartbroken and devastated for Natalie I don't know what the resolution is. I know that we're working on resolutions, you know, trying to build awareness, trying to reach out to contacts on YouTube World and see. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, you know, but it's very, it's very heartbreaking for her. She is over on Instagram. So for those of you that are Instagram, Natalie the Beauty Diva, she's trying to really get acclimated to that platform to do things there. I mean, Instagram can be a ton of fun. And, but you know, it's the learning curve, right? So that's where she is. I'm sure she would love it if you popped over and, and gave her a hello and a cyber hug over there. Um, just really, really awful what's happened to Natalie. So I digress in the sense I didn't want to mention too much about it because I don't want to draw undue attention and maybe hamper things that might be happening. I don't know. But um, quite a while ago, you know I love to to uh, show jewelry. I do like my earrings. I, you know, I, I just, I like jewelry. And um, quite a while ago, and I've reviewed pieces from other jewelry companies before, but I was reached, um, I, I was contacted by Maxine and, um, this is a jewelry company and I, I love their presentation, they, their mission. I just really, let me just read this to you really briefly. Um, it's not a diamond, but it has the same sparkle as a real one. Maxine's designs are based on natural and emotionally colorful elements such as ocean flowers, rainbow love, etc. Our unique designs come from superior processing technology and skilled craftsmen's delightful higher end costume silver jewelry can bring more confidence, elegance, and optimism to women, which is also the dream Maxine Jewelry wants to realize. Anyways, they had reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in, in reviewing uh, one of their pieces. And, um, and I said, yes, but you know, you'd like anything else you want to know is their stipulations, and there was stipulations. They had a contract that they um, wanted me to abide by. I read the contract and I said, I'm not, I'm not interested in. The contract wasn't outrageous, but it was to approve before publication a video, and I'm not gonna do that. So I said, I'm not interested. So then they said, well, if we send you something, would you, you know, just talk about it if you want? And I said, yes, I, I would agree to that. So they sent um, this, and it really is pretty. I'm going to superimpose. It's too bad my hands are not pretty hands, you know, to, I'm not a hand model. But um, this ring is really, really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. And I don't think it's going to show up here but they sent this ring 
and they sent these earrings which have not yet tried on they're dangling earrings and oh my gosh are they I should put them on I'll take my Swartzies off and put them on because they're really really pretty they really are and I and I love the um, the you know the fact that they're not like studs I love the clip I love how they go on I don't know can you see that I just think that is so, so pretty. I love the Yellowstone. So I have a, um, I have in it's the Swartzies, um, these the Bella Swartz, Swartzies, I know I'm saying that wrong, but I have the Bella Swartzies in a number of different colors. And one of them is a pink color. And when I got the pink, I had an outfit that I knew that it would look perfect for. And I also saw the yellow, but I didn't get the yellow. So I was actually thrilled to get this yellow because I think this looks so, so pretty. Anyways, it came delightfully packaged. It has a gift bag that um, has a ribbon on it. Really pretty. It also has a storage bag. This is a silver seal bag, airtight. You can put it in there because you know silver can tarnish, right? So I thought this was awesome. And then they sent a polishing cloth so that you could polish the pieces. They also sent really I mean, the, the box is beautiful. And I guess this also has a matching necklace. I think I saw on their website, that would be kind of cool to have, you know, to have a, a three-piece set like this. I just think this is pretty. So I obviously, I'm not gonna be trying to pretend this is real, but oh my gosh, I will wear this and I will, if, you, if we ever meet up in real life, you might see me if I have something yellow or black on because this would be beautiful with yellow and black. Absolutely beautiful. So I will most definitely wear this. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And they have a couple of different rings, I guess, uh, in the same stone. But I thought the square necklace was super, super pretty. I was kind of hoping it would be in here, but I went through everything and there it wasn't, but I'm thrilled with what I got. Anyways, um, I will link all their information below. And again, this is a Maxine and they, I guess have their specialty is going to be the colored stones, which I think, I think that's really awesome. So I really like that a lot. The other thing I did this week, and I'm not a big Sephora fan. You guys know that. I went to Sephora and I bought myself some eyeliners. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to superimpose the, the, um, the clip. I ended up getting a, uh, a brown. I love my Huda Beauty eyeliner. I think, I think that Huda Beauty eyeliner is the best eyeliner I have ever, ever had. And I will buy it again. But I am on a mission to see if I can find something I like as much that's more affordable. So I bought these three. These are the Sephora. Of course, Sephora had the big sale and I know everyone's talking about the Sephora sale and all that. Well, I don't really do a whole lot of that. But I did buy these three eyeliners. And even though the purple one says it's a shimmer, it really, it, the shimmer is, if you can see on my hands, the shimmer is really beautiful. It is not a bold shimmer. You're probably picking up a shimmer on the top here and that is because I have also purchased this eyeshadow topper and it's a shimmer topper. I wanted to have, and I don't have it on now, I wanted to have something that was a little bit pink or something like that. So I just wanted it for the corner. I don't even know if I'm doing it halfway decent here but I just wanted it for the corner. You really can't even see. So I picked this up at the sale and I think everything like Sephora brand was like 30% off and um, prices like that. So it was like a really, I think it was a really good price. I then went to the cosmetic company store because the cosmetic company store this week was having a six for $60. They have, they have incredible sales at the cosmetic company store. If you have one, 
they have incredible sales. They don't, they didn't announce that sale, but I did know it was happening. So I had stopped by up in, uh, when Jay and I went up to the Lakes region, I had stopped by and uh, hoped against hope that they would have my Estee Lauder in Pebble and they did not. So I didn't get it. I am looking to pick and try a new foundation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I, I don't know. If I like these liners as much as I love that Huda Beauty, then I'll stick to these. But if not, I'm gonna go pick up that Huda Beauty brown liner. It's way more money, but I really like it. And then uh, Clara had talked about one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I forgot the name of it now. Um, Oh my gosh. Anyway, she did an eye. She did, I'll link her video. She did one eye and the other, using that palette, but just the different sides of the palette. Because she does a beautiful job on her eyes. I, there's no way I can even compare to coming close to doing that type of, a, you know, a, being able to create that. But I was like, whoa, baby, look at that palette. And it like kind of made my juices flow to think about buying a palette because I haven't been wanting to buy any palettes. So I will, um, when I go back into Sephora, I mean, if these hold up, I'll be very happy with that. Um, I really like the purple, the shimmer, and it's not super shimmery on my eyes. I really like that a lot. It looked really good. I did it. I wore it to work the other day. So, and when I go into Sephora, I'm going to take a look at that palette because I'm just really curious about it. I did, I did go into Ulta as well. <laughs> And I, I bought my um, my Universal Poreless Putty Primer. Ah, you know what? I, this is still the, the primer that I really like. I really like that. So, anyways, it is dun, 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 uh, a little bit past my six-month anniversary of having used my LED, LED, I should call, face mask, the one from Candy Way, which I know there's many different brands out there. Um, I have the one that was... That was, uh, that's from Candy Way. They did send that to me. And I'm not a big YouTuber, so I don't expect to get Omnilux or any of those other big brands to, you know, reach out to me in general. So when, um, when Candy Way had reached out to me back in, I think it was the end of March, and I had gone away and came back um, to see if I wanted to review their LED mask, I was like, yes, and I loved their story, you know, and I loved how responsive they were, and small company, and I just really like supporting the small companies, because I feel they support me in that sense, they give me a chance, you know, so um, I love their brand story, and they sent their LED mask to me, so it's going to be, it's a little over six months, I'm a little bit late, so my next video will talk a little bit more about how we feel about that. But um, I've been using it consistently, and I really, I mean, there are some days I don't even wear foundation. I mean, I still like to have my skin totally smoothed out a little bit, but there's many times I just, I'm just, you know, all I have on my face um, would be my sunblock. And yes, I do wear sunblock all the time all the time. But anyway, so my next video is going to be an update on how Candy Way, how I've been doing with that. And I also know when I say I don't tend to get reached out by larger brands and larger companies, um, I I sometimes have, re like I did reach out to Omnilux to ask if they would, cons and they never even, how do you do, <laughs> type of thing. Um, but I have been trying the hand and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that a little bit as well because I think that has been uh, it's been about two to almost three months for the hand therapy that I've been using so I'm going to I'm going to talk about the hand therapy and I'm going to talk about what I've been using for my helmet the head the hair thing um, and then of course give you an update on my my uh, candy way, my LED stuff. Oh my gosh, I I love that. Anyways, I, I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, if you are into alternate hair, please go check out my my uh, Facebook page. I'm going to post this particular piece in a little bit. This is Henry Magu. This is um, really really nice. This is Avery. This is a new a new release basically and has a hand-tied cap. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna be posting that. 
but I've got a bunch of stuff posted there and I have stuff that's posted on Wig Studio One and then a couple of other different groups. Marlene um, just sent me a link to a, a, a wig group that I'm going to go check out, you know, Marlene Fab and Glam, but she's Marlene Wigs, Wig Claws, whatever. Um, she has her wig channel as well. So I'm going to be checking that out, but I wanted to share Maxine with you. I never thought that I would really love the yellow as much as I do, but I do. I mean, I'm wearing purple, but I think that if I was wearing a black. In fact, I have um, I have something that I've packed that I, I think I'm, I'm going to bring these on our next trip. I am. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. <laughs> so anyways, um, I will link Natalie's Instagram page here. Please tell her, you know, uh, I sent you over for you to go over and again, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Every thumbs up, every like counts and I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next video and I hope I don't have to edit this. Bye guys.